Hello everyone. Here I am going to discuss my project based on motion detection using background subtraction techniques. Let's have an introduction to background modeling. Our main objective is to uh, detect foregrounds based on video streams which are nothing but sequence of video frames is the first step in computer vision applications which include real-time tracking and event analysis. For example, traffic monitoring system which is real-time tracking system uh, which is based on object detection methods. Here what we do is detect foreground objects that it, which are vehicles and uh, keep tracking of that but uh, keep tracking of those vehicles so as to assist the assist the uh, travelers or drivers to reach their destination as possible as safety and uh, for event analysis we capture videos from different challenges based on video scenes like camera zitter shadows dynamic background etc then what we do is uh, we do analysis on those videos like uh, how can we detect foreground objects efficiently later on we'll discuss will i will demonstrate those videos to you that how we can efficiently detect foreground objects based on those challenges so what's about background modeling it is an efficient way to obtain foreground objects and uh, to extract the foreground objects from the background in a video frames sequence. What are the steps involved here? Basically there are three steps in every background modeling techniques. First of all, background initialization. The first aim is to fix the number of frames to build a background model. And uh, there are different types of models like Gaussian mixer model, fuzzy model etc which will uh, which you, uh, i will discuss later on for for long duration the next step which is the next step in this like we in this step what we do is compare the current frame and the background frame where current frame is uh, referencing uh, sorry current frame is next frame to the first frame and uh, whereas the background frame is uh, first frame which is reference image uh, from the video scenes and where we do subtract the uh, subtract the current uh, sorry background uh, background from sorry we subtract the uh, foreground from the background of the background from the video scene and in case of background maintenance, we uh, update the background models with respect to learning rate so as to speed up the learning, sorry, so as to speed up the background, um, uh, background selection process. This is a simple example for basic model. First, we uh, input video from the uh, sorry we take a video stream as input from the video stream we first uh, fix the reference image as I told now and where we subtract new image from reference image new, image are, uh, new images are just next frame to the first frame that is first frame is reference image in every model we we uh, refer the first image as a reference. After that, we subtract both new image and reference image. If this is greater than threshold, we consider the whole image as a foreground, ob uh, foreground object. Otherwise, we consider it as a background image. So now, what are the methodology methods we have used here? Basically, we have used three methods to do analysis on those visual scenes based on different challenges 
so that you can uh, find which method can efficiently detect orthogonal objects based on different challenges. So this is the crucial task for us to have effectiveness of the global system. Basically, we need to choose particular background separation algorithm which can which can be able to come come up with different critical situations like dynamic background, camera zitter, shadows, etc. So basically, uh, depending upon the critical situations, we use steps of the background steps and uh, which uh, basically we some, uh, use some different poses for uh, different steps. Now, what's the first step we have used that is adaptive background learning model. This is a simple way to uh, set the certain study image manually uh, that represents the background and uh, uh, and current frame which is the uh, next image to study image. Uh, for each video frame, we compute the absolute difference between the current frame and study image and finally we uh, use the threshold technique where uh, if the absolute difference exceeds threshold frame is regarded as background otherwise background in our next step next process we have used Gaussian mixer model math method uh, basically to model a background we 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 actually here basically see those uh, different phenomena like uh, webbing trees, webs of the leaves shaken by wind. So here, author proposed to model each pixel with a uh, mixture of Gaussian distributions. The man was here playing the probability of input pixel. Uh, from uh, where we find the probability uh, from current frame at time t being a background pixel which is represented by formation of Gaussians. We need to continue our uh, loop so as to uh, satisfy the criteria. For our next method, uh, that is third method, is fuzzy integrals method. We need to choose those features which are color and texture features which is uh, and this method is pixel based program detection method uh, in first step we need to find the average of the end first video frames this is the initialization background initialization after that in case of background updation we uh, adapt well the system over time to some environmental changes uh, where where it is major factor for uh, updating the background so in every case we uh, consider each pixel of every frame whether the pixel belongs to background or foreground so what are the challenges of background modeling methods as i have discussed some of the the challenges like uh, background, shadows, schema zitter, etc. Uh, based on those critical situations, how our method, methods can efficiently detect foreground objects in uh, different different video scenes? Uh, uh, based on the based on the different analysis, we actually uh, develop a background model. Uh, which will be uh, robust against background changes and uh, really this has been a um, always major challenge for uh, competitive scientists uh, uh, actually now looking to the uh, structure of uh, various challenges for different background separation method here you can see four method four challenges best one of those four challenges we used representing methods uh, using those methods we find the results 
uh, using those results we come to know that uh, which method is best suitable for which challenge